Alicia and welcome to my channel. You know, recently Scam has been like super popular and I have been a great fan of it and I know a lot of people out there are a crazy fan of it. So usually when you're a fan of Scam, what would you do? You would kind of stalk or find out research about the actor or actress or more information about Scam since season 1, season 2 and season 3 is over so I can't wait for season 4. And then after researching of all this scum information, I realized that there is so much thing that I didn't know about scum. First of all, I know Norwegian, and apparently since I've watched first season, second season, and third season, it was so stupid and embarrassing for me to say this because I had no idea scum, the meaning of scum was shame in English. And I used to thought scum was just like a name or abbreviation for something. I had no idea scum in Norwegian meaning shame. I know embarrassing in Norwegian is called flower, but it's not common. Like I never heard people say say before your shame like a duad and scum like something like that. No one really said that, so I have no idea scum meaning shame. And that is so embarrassing. So if you are like me and you have no idea scum the meaning of scum is actually shame. Now you know! <laughs> so being a fan of scum, I kind of researched what's going on with the actress and actors. And one of the videos I saw Nora having an interview and she said that she actually have a part-time job where she distributes papers or working in the call center. And I was totally shocked because everyone knows that if you're a Nora fan and Nora is such a gorgeous girl that I used to thought that she was really famous in Norway, like even famous before Scum because she's so hot, she's so pretty, she has this beautiful personality. And I used to think that she would probably come from a rich family or didn't have to work her whole life or maybe worked into many acting shows before and is really popular. But the fact that she actually had all these part-time jobs made me feel like, wow, She's somehow like a normal human being who had a normal kind of job. That's what I didn't know about the Norwegian actress in Norway. And thinking of scum becoming so popular in Norway, I would think they would have a rich and poor lifestyle and just enjoy life. But no, they are seriously hardworking actor and actress and, they, and I'm very impressed with how hardworking this Norwegian actor and actress are. Third is about William. And if you realize that suddenly in season 3, William did not appear with Nora and it was so sad, it felt like he was an asshole. I went through research and I thought that what happened, why did William suddenly didn't like Nora? Was that a plan in the scum plot? But it turned out actually it's because William rejected. He rejected to act in scum. In one of the interviews, I saw that he got tired of being harassed by girls around and plus, one more thing about Norway that I also realized, which is not common in Asia or Malaysia, that you can actually stalk somebody, like find their name and online on this like specific website and you get their house address and their phone number, which is like, wow, what kind of country is this? Like, you can actually search people's phone number through just their name or their number and to search the name or all the address including. So apparently people searched the name of William Thomas Hayes into online and they did found a guy who actually named Thomas Hayes and been stalking him, messaging and stuff like that. But it turned out to not be the same William at all. Like what? <laughs> and and that guy is like way older and not totally William kind of look. Like come on. <laughs> Maybe next time in this website, every time they put the name and address, they should have a picture there so they can confirm that it's not really the Thomas highest they were thinking of. Well, now you know, Norway is a place that you can actually stalk people online and get the information and stuff like that. It sounds kind of scary, but well, it is a safe country and people trust each other, so that's a good thing to know. Fourth, do you know that like scum is actually a real school? Like if you watch Korean dramas and all those Asian dramas, they would have boy bands in the school and this is the school, it's usually like a fake set, it's not really a school where they really act in. But scum, where they record is really really a real school 
and people, fans, flocked up to Oslo where the real school Hartvigs Nilten School eh? And the address is here So if you're curious of SCOM school and you're a fan of SCOM Do you check them out Do come to Oslo and, and have a little tour and come to the school Because one thing about Norway, if you go to the Norwegian school Their school are not fans or like the gated community It's not like the schools in Malaysia Bing bang! You can just walk into the school compound so easily <laughs> Fifth if you have checked out on YouTube this guy called Fiat Lee, he does research and give a lot of information in English about scum and to help people out to check out about scum. There was one topic that he said that Wilde in the show had eating disorder and personality issues where she tries really hard to slim down and is so jealous of Nura because of her perfect shape and Nura has no problem with eating anything at all. This is the eating disorder of Wilde in the drama itself. It's actually real. In her real life, she was like that. But it turned out she had a sister that helped her go through out of this eating disorder. And now this Wilde we know is pretty normal again. Amazing, oh my gosh. Six is lastly about Isak. I know Isak has lots of fans and Evan as well. Honestly, I think Isak looked really, really young, like a boy. I didn't know he was really <laughs> underage, but the fact that he was so underage that he could not get a prize in Google, like Norwegian Oscar Awards for acting, and he could not attend or get the award just because he, he is not 18 years old yet. And he was only like, only less than, only 12 more days, then he can become 18 years old. How unfair is that? Like, what kind of shitty rule is that? Like, come on, this kid, 12 days, does this 12 days deserve him to not get an award at all? He is such a great actor. Perfectly portraying all the problems and the emotions what teenage gays face in their school time. That's all about what I did know about stuff and I hope that you know about it and I hope that if you didn't know about it, do let me know what you did know. If you have any more cool, interesting info about Scum or the actor and the actress that is not stated here, do let me know because I'm so curious about it. Thank you for watching and I can't wait for season 4 Scum to come out again. Hadara!